Hello everyone and welcome to a new Flutter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create mobile apps using Flutter framework. So what is Flutter? Flutter is a mobile UI toolkit and we use it to create native apps in both Android iOS as well as desktop and web applications. Flutter is a cross-platform framework which means it uses a single code base for both Android and iOS operating systems using Dart programming language. So what is Dart? Dart is an object-oriented programming language that was developed by Google for creating mobile, web, and desktop applications. Don't worry if you don't know anything about Dart or you haven't heard anything about it. It is an easy language and developers will adapt to it very quickly. Now, many people may ask why to use Flutter. Well, there are, there are many benefits of using Flutter for creating native apps and here are some of them. As I said previously, Flutter uses a single code base created by Dart, which is perfect because we don't have to write separate code for Android or iOS, and if we want to update our code, we just update it once, instead of twice. Another benefit of using Flutter is Dart language. The advantage of using Dart for Flutter is that, as we said before, Dart is a very easy and quick to adapt language, and if you already know the basic concept of other programming languages, you will get Dart in no time. Flutter has a very fast development environment and it works as native apps on both Android and iOS operating systems with great performance and speed. Finally, there is a great community already building amazing apps with Flutter in addition to the guides on the Flutter website. Now, before we continue, I just want to clarify something. This course is for developers that don't know Flutter, but still have experience or general knowledge in one or more programming languages. So if you don't know anything about programming, then this course isn't for you. Alright guys, before we continue on Flutter, we need to download a couple of things such as IDE. For this tutorial, I will be using Android Studio as our IDE. You can download other things like Visual Studio Code, you are free to do so, but I will use Android Studio. We also need to download Git, and if you are on Macbook, you need to download Xcode as well, because Xcode allows us to run our apps on iPhone simulators and allows us to publish our app. Alright guys, now after we downloaded Android Studio and Git, now we are ready to download Flutter SDK. To download Flutter SDK, there are two ways. The very first way is that clicking on this button will start downloading the SDK and after it downloads, you can unarchive it. But we will not do that in this tutorial. We will come down here and copy this command. We will download it from GitHub instead. So we open up our terminal and before we paste our command, this command that we copied, we need to make a folder. You can call it development, you can call it Flutter, whatever you want. I will just say npdir Flutter, then cd Flutter, oops, sorry, cd Flutter, then paste this command. Now hit enter and it will start downloading Flutter. Alright guys, now after we downloaded the Flutter SDKs, we need to update our environment variables. In Windows, it's a different way to update it, but on Mac, this is how we do it. We come here and copy this command, and before we type this command, we should write pwd in the folder that we installed Flutter into, and then we paste this command here in the pwd. We need to write this location, so now hit enter and it should update our environment variable. Now we can use Flutter anywhere we want. Okay guys, now after we downloaded everything, we just need to make sure that Flutter is working fine. To do so, we need to write Flutter Doctor and hit enter. 
here in this command we will see the version of the flutter and the channel we're using we're using a stable channel for sure and we will see if there is anything wrong don't worry about this x this is about the chrome because i don't have chrome on this on this laptop and the warning down there is about my iphone is not connected so this is totally fine and this is it guys now we are ready to start developing our mobile apps and that would be in the next video see you in the next video